and I hope they will solve their problems. Who is a Muslim when they uh, call me? Come on. You know, sometimes, guys, I feel like a homeless. I keep saying any Abdul, any Abdul, like a guy sitting in the front of a, of a, uh, in the street. Uh, you know, any penny, a dollar. Like any Abdul. How many times I say any Abdul? No, no, I love. I just texted you actually. I texted you, but you are not in Skype. And they keep saying to me uh, when I call you, when I call you, but you you aren't even in Skype. You are not bothering me. I told you before you can call me because you are an ex Muslim. <clears throat> don't be upset. Don't be upset. You see, many people they get upset from me, but I have too much stress on my in my head. And everybody get upset from me easy. Hi, CP. Hello. Hi. How this are is you? Eiler. Hey, Eiler. Hi. How are you? Hi. Um, so I had a question regarding um, the history of Arabs because in Iran they tell people that those Arabs that Muhammad came to were vow people who would kill their daughters and stuff like that. Um, I was always wondering if this is even true. Were there so vile? Is he did he did do that for those people, or is it just a story? No, absolutely, this is false. Because if everybody kill his daughter, then we have no daughters, <laughs> right? Okay, but there were like cults who would actually do that. You know, offer their daughters to these idols. So it's not no, totally no, 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 unhistorical. That's, that, that's, that. that's not true. First of all, okay. isn't it Muslim they say that Muhammad, he was working for a woman, her name is Khadija? I always use this comment. But okay, so how Khadija, how people, they bury their daughters, but men, they work for women. You know, uh, uh, in the Middle East, we have a queens, women who they are leaders, kings, you know, they are, they are ruling kingdoms. Even in Iran, you have. Actually, Muhammad, he said, uh, when the daughter of Kisra, she became yeah. a ruler of Iran, he said, a nation ruled by their by a female they will never be successful oh wow so okay. it, is, it is Muhammad who was putting women down and the kuffar they make women queens and kings so how Muhammad how Muslim they say that because this is an endless story they tell people in Iran. They say Muhammad came in a time where women were abused, and this is how he helped them. And I'm always like, so if, if he wanted to help, he could, you know, bring uh, Moses' law or Jesus' law to, you know, to give even your life for your wife. Why would he come up with such stupid things? But then I'm like, yeah, they were stupid, so he was needed. And because you're an Arab and you know the history very well, I was like, maybe this whole this whole story is a lie so they can keep up this uh, narrative it is a lie because simply okay. what, the, what the Quran is saying you see there's nowhere in the Quran it says a female uh, 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 child was buried the Quran Correct. says the following but they try to fool those who don't speak uh, Arabic, uh, Arabic. Yeah. look what they say here in chapter 81 verse number 8 it says when the female and they put between two brackets infant buried alive okay and then between two brackets as the arab pagans used to do shall yeah. be questions i challenge any muslim to show me where it says female and where it says infant okay wow well. there's nowhere it says in arabic al mawuda al mawuda the one is buried and that is the dead uh, uh, body you know, uh, we so there is no we, sex in it, like we, no, no, the no. gender is not okay. No, no, ju just uh, no, this is like it's coming as a female because this is Arabic word as a female for the body, like a body of a human being, it doesn't matter, it's a male or female. We call it ju okay. Jutha. So okay. that body which is killed is it's a it's a like you know, in, in English, uh, it's different from our Arabic, like in English, we have. I know, uh, I know, we yeah, have the same in Iran. You have, you, okay. ha you have to say she before Ooh. something, right? Yeah, but in Arabic, yeah. no. Arabic, there's words, it's females, and there's words, it's a male, but it's not about a gender. As an example, ta uh, ta okay. table, table is a <coughs> table is a female, you know, chair okay. is a male, 
okay but neither the chair neither the table is a female or male right you know yes. what I mean? yeah so uh, uh, the same here it says al mawuda the one which is buried this is what al mawuda mean so there's nowhere it says female and nowhere it says infant so yes. it's going to be said in which uh, sin or which guilt she was uh, 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 killed that is the body she is the body the body of the the dead body okay for what reason she was killed so when you when you when you kill a person that dead body in the day of resurrection allah will ask that this this body for what reason they killed you what you did you know and then everything which is written which mean the the record of everyone will be you know like published and everybody will see his sin so this is have nothing to do with the Arab because okay, let us say for the sake of argument that Muhammad he forbid the people from burying their daughter. Where it says they are forbid from burying. Okay. This is about the judgment day. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! Okay. In, in the judgment day, oh. Allah will ask. You see, all this chapter here is about the judgment day. Look, this is a takwir. It says here. When the sun is covered, when the sun uh, uh, round, because the sun now is not round, and then and then when the the stars became darkened, and when the mountains is destroyed, and etc. When 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 and when the the mount the the sea and when the the souls you see you see the word souls. I can't see because I'm calling you on my phone. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I have to look back after. Yeah. When the souls is going to be uh, uh, joined together with the bodies. And then right away after the word bodies, we see the word is going to be questions. That is the body. In Arabic is, in Arabic here, it says, al -mu'uda. So that oh, is a question okay. about the body which is buried is going to be rejoined with the soul. So it can talk. And then we will ask that body, who and why you been killed? For what reason? All right. However, by the way, uh, uh, here is, it doesn't even say killed, not necessarily killed. Uh, uh, the, the verse after it, it says killed, but here in the, in, the, in the verse here it says, and the one who is, is buried is going to be questioned for which sin was killed. Now here killed, it can be any reason somebody killing anyone you know murder etc so everyone will be questioned for a crimes he did for okay. for what reason and there's nowhere here is speaking about what they claim okay yeah thank same, you same time same time uh, uh, if this is true shouldn't they quote for us some stories of people they bury their daughters <laughs> Who are they? Yeah, there are like extra biblical, uh, biblical extra uh, Quranic scripture describing those tribes and stuff. And I'm always like, maybe it was a very small tribe if they were even doing that. But at the same time, as you mentioned very well, Khadija was his wife. She was wealthy, very well educated. So how is that that in that time women were treated like Khadija as well? So it's 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 a really weird story no, at no, the no, same time when i Khadija, argue Khadija, she was sorry. not she was not educated she was she was a really stupid woman but let us say really? yeah she was a stupid woman otherwise she would not marry muhammad anyway uh, uh maybe she was demonic and wanted to use no, him no, no. He is, because she know, was not a she is a she is a silly stupid woman she is very old and she married someone a lot younger because he is for sale you know there is uh, there is there is men they are cheap if they see a woman she is rich and she is old even if she is 30 40 years older than them as long as she have money uh, uh, you know they will marry her but here, they but, teach this in iran yeah. that she was very well educated no what education so what, many where, where, which, what they edu say she they uh, they say muhammad learned a lot from her about judaism about christianity no first of all khadija she was not even christian she was nasara and nasara is a cult like Jehovah's Witnesses. It's a cult. Okay. I have nothing I to know. do with Christian. Yeah. Secondly, uh, even according to the Muslims, Khadija, she was a bad woman. And I will tell you the story here. Let me, uh, I will put it in the screen, even though you cannot see it. Yeah, but, I will see later. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, if we go, there is, there is a chapter 
in the Muslims books it's called the examination of the uh, Wahi which means inspiration of Allah uh, Khadija let us see Khadija she examined the the uh, the wahi of Allah which mean uh, wahi mean the inspiration Allah he sent him uh, yeah, okay yeah uh, uh, guidance etc and uh, Khadija she proved to Muhammad that he is a prophet how let us see how smart Khadija is and how smart the Muslims with her this is the book of as -Sira. okay Sirat Ibn Hisham we are showing the screen for the Muslims volume number one and this is the hadith in the front of us well my screen now is frozen a little bit okay it says here I'm going to translate guys I'm going to click this is a Google uh, uh, browser so I'm going just to choose to translate even though the translation is not accurate but we will use it just to prove a point okay now it's coming in English so Muhammad he uh, he used to see something but he is not sure what he is seeing someone he come and he sit in the corner of his house but he don't talk he don't know who is this guy he don't talk this guy he sit in the corner so he told Khadija about her and then Khadija she told him next time you see this guy the one who come to you in the corner let me know all right okay. so uh, uh, she told him to tell her to tell her when he come okay he uh, when he come to you he said uh, uh, he, okay yes he is here she said if he come uh, tell me which mean if he if you see him again tell me and he come to her and uh, he told uh, Khadija, okay, uh, I see him. So Khadija, she, by the way, it doesn't say uh, the Jibreel. This is in the translation. But this is supposed to now they are trying to discover who is Jibreel. Uh, he come to me. She said, oh, my cousin, sit in my left thigh, the the, the, uh. the top of your leg, the, the her leg. So hey, the messenger, he st stand and he sit in the top of her left uh, thigh. And then she asked him, do you see him? He said, yes, I see him. <laughs> okay. okay. Then, she asked oh, him wow. then she asked him, okay, stand up and sit in my right thigh, in the top of her right leg. <sighs> the prophet, he stood and he sat in the top of her right thigh. And she said to him, after he said there, do you see him? He said, yes. Then uh, uh, Khadija, uh, she asked him to sit in the top of her lap, in the top of her. And she said to him, do you see him? He said, yes. And then after he sat in her lap and he see her, still he see him, she start taking off her clothes. And then okay. she asked the messenger, do you see him? He said, no. She said, "Glory to Allah! This is a this is an angel. This is not the devil." <laughs> so, oh, wow, Khadija, like, yeah, you know, this is how they have been fooling our whole nation, an entire nation with these. I mean, like when you expose it, like everyone will laugh at this. But this is not what we are told in Iran for years now. We have been told that she was very well educated. Her father was Christian. Her mom was a Jew, and she, everything he learned about. Uh, you know the, the, the Abrahamic faith. He learned it from her. That's what we have been told about her. Well, obviously, this is the opposite of the truth. She is educated yeah. about striptease because what this have to do with God? Yeah. I mean, since when? If I said, have you ever heard of a prophet? His wife, she said to him, "Sit in my lap. Let us see if this is an angel or not." I mean, this is stupid. He was a sex maniac. It's really clear yeah, that but, he was but disturbed. But the story here, story uh, uh, here, proving that Muhammad and Khadija both are stupid. Because yeah. why Muhammad did not ask her what this have to do with seeing a guy in the corner? What are you talking about? Sit in your lap for what? <sighs> sit in my left leg, and what? And why she said to him, "Okay, sit in my right leg now." Like, what? What? Ha what will happen? I mean, and if she knew that the, the the way to make to to know if by taking off her clothes. Okay, what about you take off her clothes from the beginning? 
the Muslim they say because this is an angel he is shy to see a, a, a man and the women having sex so he have to leave so okay what about we start having sex right away if he is still there you know then we ask Muhammad do you see him he will say no what the what the point of saying like moving here sit here Okay, sorry for this. Uh, it's my router. My router. I don't know if you can hear me now. Still, uh, my router is start. I have like a schedule uh, restarting for my router. I never thought I would stay until now. <laughs> Do you still hear me, guys? Am I still heard? All right. I have my router scheduled to to uh, to restart. At this time, because I, I never thought I would do podcast at, you know, at this time in the morning. So uh, I should remember that this will happen. Uh, anyway, we we lost our sister here. Uh, let me call her back. But anyway, as you see, this is how stupid this this uh, this cult is. I guess she is not there anymore uh, maybe she lost her connection too uh, anyway so uh, when the Muslim they speak about Khadija I mean I, I, I don't know sometimes like I, I really it's funny how this story even came to existence did Muhammad go around telling people that my wife when I saw an angel, she told me to sit in her lap. And if this is true, what kind of a man he is? I mean, imagine I was sitting in my wife's lap, and then I come and say, hey, guys, I was sitting in my wife's lap. I saw somebody in the corner, and my wife, she said to me, sit in the top of my right thigh, and then my left thigh. And then she sit in, She asked me to sit in the top of her. And then she asked me, she started taking off her clothes. I mean, what is that? Let us see if we can get her back. Hi, CP. Sorry, dear sister, I lost you. I apologize. Oh, I'm I'm sorry too. I'm uh, walking outside. Yeah. Anyway, so... do you have any uh, any other question? Yeah. Um, there are two other questions. One is they keep saying when I say he married a six-year-old, they keep saying in mm. those times those girls were very mature very tall very this very that right I, it sounds nonsensical to me of course but just is there anything backing this up or is it another you know, lie they're telling you know uh, 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 Aisha uh, the one they are saying she was mature she was, was a playing play she was a playing yeah. with her dolls you know so how she was mature but yet she is playing in with her dolls not only that they refute this that there are grown-up people who still play with dolls no not true you know 
even she called him her daughter her daughters Aisha at the age of 14 she called them my daughters at the age of 14 so imagine at the age of 16 she called them what you know my mom <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and by yeah. the way when you uh, 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 when you when you see the translation you will see the the Muslims uh, they didn't translate the word my daughters know. you know they lie a lot I'm trying here we go you see guys this is the hadith and this is Sahih hadith this is Sahih hadith this is Sunan Abu Dawood hadith number four nine three two Sahih here you will see Muhammad he uh, the curtain left up and he saw her playing with some dolls uh, and Muhammad he asked her what is this uh, she said uh, my dolls in the translation in Arabic it doesn't say that in Arabic it says my daughters Banati oh, wow. yeah Banati you know what actually actually you know what let me I will use Google the... I will use Google browser so we can translate using Google browser liars that would different that's so sick seriously yeah always this is why I say never trust Muslim translation okay I'm going to <gasps> you see this is the this is the, the this is the hate here I'm going to click and translate let us see if the word my daughters will appear in the right side. All right, here we go. Um, said a you messenger blessing, blah, 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 okay, covering women, covering daughter Aisha among them. Two wings. Where is the word? Here we go. Guys, does it say daughters? Do you see in Google translation the word daughters? Wow. Do you see it says with daughters in the English here now? We have two English translation the one made by Muslims in the left and The one is done by Google automatically for the Arabic text the word daughter is Totally gone and they never translate because this is very embarrassing So let me just like let me just have so he slept with people who he called his daughters, right? That's just like okay. Wow No, 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 no. <laughs> The uh, Aisha, she have the uh, dolls, and she yeah. is calling her dolls my daughters. Oh, that I was. Yeah, like, that's what I'm talking okay. about. Yeah. So he asked her, she have dolls with her. She he said to her, "What is this?" She did not say my dolls. She said my daughters. Oh. Okay. So that that makes it sure that she was a child because only she's a child, they and she yeah. is at this time she is 14 years old because this has happened in during the time of the book or Khaybar according to the Hadith. So she was 14 years old, 14 wow. years old, and still she believed that her dolls are her daughters. Now, uh, uh, they might say some girls like they grow and they keep their, their dolls since they were children, but this is for memory. But she will not play with them and she will not call them my daughters. Wow, okay. You know? And she's wow. playing with them at that moment, she is playing with them, you know. And obviously, Muhammad is talking to her as a child. And he said to her, "She, there, there's one of the dolls. Uh, not all of them, they are like uh, in the shape of a female. One of them in the shape of a horse and have wings. So he said to her, and what is this? Horse with two wings? She replied, have you not heard that Suleiman had a horse with wings? You know? <laughs> so... Uh, uh, so here Muhammad he laugh laugh at what uh, laugh, laugh at how cute she is <laughs> you know what I mean wow. you see yeah. here it says it, he laugh until his teeth they show because which I mean he laugh like crazy you know so he's laughing what because she is uh, 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 mature and this then, will expose everything for them if people will actually know the, the these stories um i already um, sent you a message on skype you can listen to it later regarding this all right. thank you so much for re revealing all of this honestly like this is just uh, insane you know i have one more question if you have time and other sure. uh, maybe i can ask it later if you have no time no it's okay me. but you know uh, for me I wanted you to call me, like uh, just uh, because you want to, you know, you you post for the Iranian community. So yes, yes. I want you to call me again, in different timing, 
so that will be only like short video for you so you can download it because this video is very long otherwise now you have to download it and cut it off from yes. the time you you know the, that will make you maybe I don't know how easy it is for you so either you download this video so you can take your questions and post it in your Facebook or ever or you call me again you know in a time where uh, just only I make short video for you so you can download it and post it again in Facebook sure All right? sure thank you yeah you're, yeah. Welcome. you're welcome thank you so much God bless you so much take care. God bless. Take care. okay bye bye and you know please guys don't be upset if I don't uh, many of you want to talk to me and now actually uh, just because she's ex-muslims I accept you know uh, if I if I say to everybody when I talk to me uh, yes and we, you know then we will not be able to talk to Muslims but I know that she is important because she is trying to refute Muslims from her country and she herself she's an ex-muslim so those people are important for us to arm them with the answers they need uh, because they are different from the rest of us they have a mission all right 